Like I said, no one really LLCs, cares. LLCs, REITs, uh, trusts. A trust, it doesn't, okay. it doesn't matter. You can buy these properties in a trust. You can buy them in an LLC. Hey guys, Chris Peshek, broker associate of Peshek Properties here. Um, Short-term investments, short-term rental properties, Airbnb, VRBO, all the stuff. If you're thinking about it, this is the right channel. This is the right set of videos. Um, especially if you're thinking about it in Central Texas, because that's where I service. But um, this series of videos is all about explaining to you, top to bottom, front to back, what does it look like to buy a short-term rental? Mm -hmm. What does it look like to get financing on it or go cash? Um, what does it look like to, to manage one, invest in one, buy one, sell one? That's what this is all about. Um, this is the second in this series of videos. I'm here with my good buddy, Chris Motal. He is a mortgage lender, no, mortgage broker, sorry. Mm -hmm. Mortgage broker at Palm, yep. Palm Lending and owner in Palm Lending. Financier. Financier yeah. at Palm it's Lending. It's a French word. And uh, the reason he's on this video is because he specializes in short-term investment properties. Mm -hmm. All right, man. Last time we talked about what it looks like to get a loan, like yep. it, how it's progressed over the years. So in that last video, you talked about how now you've got an option. These are commercial loans now. Yep. Um, well, you don't have to do a commercial loan, but that's probably the best way to do these. Yep. Um, and you've got options 20, 25, 30% down. Right. Okay. So let's jump into why would somebody choose 20? Can, does somebody have the opportunity to choose 20? Why would somebody, why would somebody put 30% down if they can get by with 20? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I mean, jump into it, man. So great question. You know, everyone seems to put as least amount of money down into their investment as they yep. possibly can. I understand leverage, that. Leverage, right? A leverage, right? So I get that. However, what I will say is there's different rules at 20 and there's different from 20 to 25 and then 30%. Okay. So let me just, like the cat's meow is 30% down and why it is, or the cat's pajamas, I can't remember the saying. Both of them. Whatever. So matter. it's still 30% <laughs> down. What that means is the bank doesn't care. The investors don't care. Right? And the bank here. Let, let's pause there for a second. Okay. This isn't JP Morgan. This no. isn't Wells Fargo. No, these are mostly private equity firms. Okay. Right. So this is yeah, it's it is an investment institution. And they're there to make money. They're there to make money. Okay. Absolutely. And that's why these rules exist. That's why these rules exist. They care about the asset, which is the property. Yep. And that's what they're most concerned and focused on. Yep. You put 30% in, they look at it as, hey, look, we don't run, we don't have any risk at this point. Right. Right. Because you default. Even if the market drops 10, 15 percent, they can sell that property and Still they're break even. and they're okay. They're Plus breaking the money even. you put down. That's yep. right. So 30 percent for them is like you can do whatever you want. I don't really care, right? Yep. As long as the asset obviously is is valued at right. what it what you're buying it yeah. for, right? So they take the rules off the table at 30 percent, which is why I tell everybody plan on 30 percent, right? If you can do less, we will know in the process, yeah. right? Because we're going to have an appraisal done, or we're going to have an estimation done by either Airbnb or AirDNA, um, VRBO, Verbo, yeah, yeah. AirDNA. So we're going to take a look at those numbers, and if those numbers show that you have enough income coming in, cash flow on that property, uh, in comparison to the mortgage, the, the actual mortgage payment the that ITI, you have yeah. every single month, if, if, if the numbers make sense, you could put less down. You right. could put 25%, or you could put 20%. It's not going to go below 20. It's always going to be that's the threshold, right. right? But, yeah, so it is an opportunity. But if you go in, it's kind of like going to Starbucks, right? If you know you're going to get a mocha frappuccino, right? I have no idea how much those cost. But I'm going to guess <laughs> it's a lot more than my $3 black coffee right, that exactly. I normally get, right? But anyways, let's just say that's a $7 product. You're not going to walk into Starbucks with $6.73 because that's how much you know the caramel yeah. macchiato is, right? Right. You're going to walk in with a $10 bill, right? Or your card. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That has more than $10 on it, yep. right? And that's how you should approach this in the same way. And then mindset. if they're running a sale, awesome. Great. Yeah. If it's less than what I thought, great, right? Come in with 30% down, plan on that, prepare for that. If it's 25, great. If it's 20, great. Okay. So what? Easy. Move on the next. Okay. So from that perspective, yep. um, we're going to, we're going to, uh, we're going to plan on 30% now. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do I need to do? I, I want I want to buy I want to buy a million dollar property in Dripping Springs. Okay? Okay. Yep. What do I do when I call you? So what do I need? Honestly, it's a simple application. Yep. 
Yeah. It's not even close to the applications that we have seen over the years where they ask you for everything, right? And then they're still asking you for documents up until closing? Yeah. <laughs> so that, that that's out the window. That's why I love these loans because they're really simple. They're straight to the point, and you can stand behind them. So um, they're, they're also guaranteed closes at 30% down. Like there's – unless the appraisal comes in super low, which we haven't seen that happen right. uh, yet, not in Central Texas. So – there's no risk in that loan falling apart as long as the person has the 30% down. But information-wise and documentation that's needed for this kind of loan is uh, full name, uh, address where you live, <laughs> uh, social security number, because we do have to pull credit okay. more to validate who you are and who you say you are, right? right? Um, a copy of your driver's license to validate that you are who you say you are, Okay. And then a bank statement that shows us where the money you is coming money. from. Yeah. It doesn't matter whose name the bank statement is in. It doesn't even have to be your own. Like I said, no one really LLCs, cares. LLCs, REITs, uh, trusts. A trust, it doesn't, okay. it doesn't matter. You can buy these properties in a trust. You can buy them in an LLC. The LLC does not require credit. Like, yeah. you don't, it doesn't really require much besides that. Bank Wait, statement, you driver's license. No, we have to run credit. Oh, you do have to run credit score. We okay. do have to run credit, but we're not looking. There's no debt to income. There's right. no, there's no income documentation. Back ratios, yeah. yeah okay. So at the at the end of the day, the credit score, the whatever number comes in on the credit score, uh, that we we're going to use that for the pricing, if you pricing will, or whatever your rate. rate. Yeah. Okay. But for the most part, as long as it's above a a, a, a threshold, a credit score threshold, which is like six eighty. Okay. Um, it, it doesn't matter if you have an eight. 80 credit score or, a or 680. 685 it's going to be the same rate because it's really it's more ba the credit the pool property. is more about validating that you exist right, right right okay and if they have to come after you at least they know who you are right right but that's pretty much it because the pricing is pretty much the same okay um, in terms of the rates is what I'm talking gotcha. about. Got you. And then at that point, you need an address and a physical description of the property, and that's where the verification of for pre-approval, like for pre-approval, no. Oh, right, right. But but yeah, once we have the once we have an address and a contract that you're buying the property, yeah, we we'll plug that in the system. We will, depending on the property's location, if it's have a history of uh, rental history. Sometimes we'll have to get an appraisal done on the property. Sometimes we can use like if it's a cookie cutter, mm -hmm. right? If you're buying in a uh, community like uh, we talked about, like at the coast and yeah. in Texas, uh, Cinnamon Shores, for example, where there's fifty homes that are all, all identical, Airbnb. right? All identical. And they're all Airbnb. Well, most of the time you don't even have to have an appraisal on those. We'll do that Air DNA, right? Because they already know the rental rates. They know the cash flow of every property. It's not like it's a one-off. Yeah. Like it's the only house on that street in that neighborhood with a golf view. Like right. it's not that unique. Sorry, but <laughs> but no. I mean, I see what you're saying. Yeah. So from the bank's perspective, from the lender's perspective, it's like, oh, there. Yeah, we'll do yeah. this. Yeah. It's easy because the date is out. Yeah. So why do it again? There you go. So they're super easy. They take a couple weeks to close. They're usually under three weeks, yeah. Basically, you're waiting on title to do their stuff. Yeah, it's a little title work. Okay. Yeah, but they're quick. They're all same-day underwrites. Okay. We don't have to worry about a lot. So, but I say I always tell people, just give two or three weeks just to kind of get through everything, you know, get right. through the minutia of the, the, process, yeah, the process, right? Yeah. yeah, and don't be stressed about it and set a crazy five-day close date. Why so would if you you're, do that? You're, if you're buying it, you're buying it. You're buying it, yeah. So let me ask you this, and this goes along the same thing, because in, in the last video we talked about traditional loans. Mm -hmm. um, so I know as a realtor in a traditional loan, if there's a house full of furniture, yeah. somehow legally as a realtor, I have to document that that stuff's going to be non-realty transfer. Does any of that stuff, are you worried about any of that on these loans? No. So if it's full of furniture, you're just, you're buying, you're buying a business. Yeah. Okay. And That's, most of the time they convey, right? Yeah. The exactly. furniture, Especially if you're buying an existing short, uh, short term. Yeah, exactly. You may not want it all, but. Yeah. And that's <laughs> and most people that are buying short term rentals that we come in contact with typically are going to buy properties that are already short term rentals. Yeah, yeah. Or if they're not, they're going to ask for the furniture and the everything that's inside the house to convey non personal items. So gotcha. Because they don't want to go buy couches and 
Dining room tables. Yeah, trust me, you don't want that. That's a pain in the butt. I'm telling you from experience, guys, that's a pain in the butt to buy an empty house and fill it. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. All right. Well, cool. Let's wrap this one up. Guys, uh, what are we doing on the... Oh, next one, we're talking about a, about an equity game. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited about that one. That's a good one. All right, that'll, that'll, be, that'll be part three, guys. Um, again, if you're looking for short-term investment um, in Texas, outside of Texas, again, Chris Lenz in all 50 states on these yep. things. Um, I work in Texas, but I've got uh, uh, real estate partners all over the place in this, in this country. Um, some out of country, too, actually. I've got investment partners in Cabo, which is kind of cool. That's cool. Um, so, yeah, if you're looking to do a short-term, give me a call. I'll put you in contact with Chris or give Chris a call. I'll put you in contact with me if it's out of state. Obviously, you stay with him. I'll refer you out to somebody else. Life's grand. Fair Sweet. Enough. See you next time.